Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use bias binding as a decorative trim. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of how I have used bias binding around an armhole as a decorative trim. Um, you can use your fashion fabric or as I've done here use a contrasting fabric. Now um, there is an edge stitching that's happening here and it is a two step process which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, I'll be using commercial bias binding and it is bias binder is double folded and you can get bias binding in different widths or you can make your own. This one here you have the two folds and one is slightly bigger which is the top one than the lower which makes it easier when you actually come to fold the bias binding and to do an area such as the armhole that you will get it in that position. So what will happen is when I show you in a moment is this will be the right side that will be shown on the garment. The next step is to fold your bias binding in half and then to mould it into or press it into the shape of the actual armhole and then I'm going to show you how to apply that onto the sleeve. I've got my bias binding and what I need to do is fold in about one centimetre so that you have a neat finish for when you actually complete your bias binding and put this fold of your bias binding right side of your bias binding to the right side of your fabric and just line it up with the side seam and place a pin and then I'm going to continue pinning the bias binding all the way around. Remember don't stretch your bias binding because you don't want that to become distort. So I'm going to continue pinning all the way around and I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. Now pinned all the way around, I'm just going to show you the last action you need to do is to make sure that you do not fold this end, you place it on top of the folded part of the bias binding and pin and pin that into place. And this is where I'm going to start my stitching and go all the way around. Now I am working just on the arm of my actual sewing machine. So I've removed the table or the bed, whatever you wish to call it, just to make it easier to insert the armhole onto the actual arm of the machine. And I'm going to start sewing where the bias binding has overlapped. And I'm going to sew within the crease line. Now do remember that I have cut away my seam allowance in order to um, take in the, the the allowance of the actual bias binding and also do remember to stay stitch. So I'm going to go and sew all the way around and remember just in the crease line of the bias binding. Now you can if you wish based if you don't want to be using pins you know it's all about personal choice when it comes to fashion sewing now I've actually come to a point where I need to can you see what's happening here that my actual open seam my plain seam here is in danger of going in the same direction as this one so I need to make sure that I put my feet my needle down my feet up make sure my seam lies flat otherwise you're gonna have to be doing some stitch on picking there and then continue sewing. Now I'm going to go all the way around and I'll come back to you. My first set of sewing and the next thing to do before you do your second set of sewing is to make sure that your folded bias binding here is in line with your seam allowance and then you're going to wrap that over the other so you get a nice neat clean finish like so and then you're going to cover the raw edge, fold it into the garment like so and put a pin into place. If it does feel a bit bulky then do trim it away and then I'm going to continue doing the same all the way around and remember I'm actually folding over the larger width size of the bias binding and then we're going to do an edge stitch all the way around. 
I'm working on the right side of my garment because we need to make sure that the edge stitching is very neat on the right side um, and hoping, fingers crossed, that it's also caught on the underside. So let's get sewing. So remember doing the edge stitch, so go quite as close to the edge as you want to get the desired effect. So this is a second part of the stitching process in order to put your bias binding onto an armhole for a decorative trim. And I'm going to continue sewing all the way around. And then when I've done, I'm going to take it to my sewing surface and show you what it looks like. Now all that is left for me to do is press the uh, bias binding and also the garment around the armhole here. Um, as you can see we have the edge stitching here on the right side of the garment and on the inside of the garment that is what the effect that you'll have. So that is a decorative trim. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. It was working with armholes, but you can use the same process in different parts of the garment. It's all about practice and experimenting. If you have any questions or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.